Friends out there on YouTube land, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at these three cameras and we're going to do a shootout, a one-shot shootout between the TL70, the Mini 90, and the Instax Mini Evo. I want to go ahead and say one thing. Since we're talking about the Mini Evo, man, doesn't Fujifilm do a nice job with their boxes? I really like the box. I'm just got to say that. Also, the camera is the new kid on the block, it being an instant camera, specifically with a hybrid sensor. We just did a, a whole video on the sensor, so go check that out if you want to know the sensor and the lens. We go into a deep dive. But is this camera good enough to hack it? Is it good enough to dethrone any of my longtime favorites? Specifically, the TL70 is great. It's got a warm lens, it's very bright, it's also low contrast, so you get a lot of detail. An excellent bokeh. This camera is awesome. It's got a few quirks to getting used to shooting with it, but once you do, the images are great. Uh, the Mini 90 has been a longtime favorite as well because it's so easy to use, and it's actually the top of the flagship line prior to the Leap Play or the Mini Evo coming out because it's the only one with all of the different features between lighten and darken and tripod screw and turn to flash on and off and all those different uh, features like double feature, a mountain macro, all of those pro type features were actually featured here in this camera. And then finally, if we go back to the good old venerable TL70, this beautiful iconic design right here reminds me of something from the 50s, 40s, 30s, pop-up twin lens reflex with a real focusing and view screen, pop-up flash right there, adjustments such as uh, bulb and uh, aperture priority with uh, exposure compensation. There's just a lot to love. Did I mention it's got a speed focus right there? How cool is that? And a pop-up loop to help you focus on the real focusing screen. Okay, like I said, there's a lot to love about these cameras, but the real question is, which one is gonna take the cake? Now, we've got three images here, and I'm getting ready to roll that video, but here they go. Which one is it gonna be? You tell me. Okay, that was a lot harder than it should have been, but let's go ahead and roll that footage. I hope you enjoy the story that I tell and the journey that we go on. I'll catch you guys on the outro. So here we are, we've got three pictures taken by three different cameras at the same time. Uh, each picture has their own different quality to them, and I want to know which one is your favorite, which one you like the best, which, and why. I think this one is my favorite. Okay, why is this one your favorite? Um, I think it's a clearer image. And when you say that you think it's a clearer image... It has more detail. I think it's got more detail. Yeah, like, this one has detail, but it's more of a blown-out detail, especially in the face. Mm -hmm. um, and But, like, this one, I don't know, it, it's, it's like in the shape of his face. And, of course, that could be just the way his hat is and the way he's tilted or everything. But I feel like I see his face clearer here than I do here. Yeah, there's no doubt that this image is not only sharper... Uh, but there's quite a bit more detail in there and a lot less contrast. This image was taken with the Mini 90. I mean, excuse me, with the, the Instax Mini Evo. This one was taken with the Mini 90, and that one was taken with the Mint TL70. Even with the light leaks, I think that the TL70 is providing a better image than the Mini Evo. 
And I think that the Mini Evo is providing a better image than the Mini 90. And we are back, my friends. Wow, was that an upset for you? Did you think that the Instax Mini Evo would do as well as it did? I sure didn't, especially if you look at my preview, the I pre-ordered video, but maybe you shouldn't. I didn't know what to expect with this thing. However, I think we stand pretty clear. The TL70 is still the king, albeit with a few quirks. Go ahead and watch my video series on how to get the best out of the Mint TL70. And I do completely believe that the Instax Mini Evo has dethroned the Instax Mini 90. And I believe that for a couple of simple reasons. Number one, the print quality, I don't think you can tell a difference between the print. Meaning, just because it's a digital printer printing on an analog medium from a digital sensor, you can't see any pixels. So as far as it's concerned, there are no pixels to find. There are quite a bit of detail. In fact, if you print other images from your cell phone using the Instax Mini Evo as a printer, or even other Instax Mini printers themselves, you would have had a hard time ever seeing any issue with the image on that medium in the first place. So here, it's not a print quality, it's not a digital print issue. The sensor's older. Does that mean that it's no good or doesn't produce good images? No, that's why I think it's dethroned the Instax Mini 90. But more importantly than just the image quality, which I think is relatively the same between the two, you get to preview your images and you get that printer as a feature as well. So you get all of the advantages of a digital camera, plus you get the advantages of a digital printer and being able to print on the Instax Mini Film from your phone or from the camera, and you can only print the images that you want, so you don't have to waste film. Those are some really great things. Also, you get one other benefit that we don't really talk about a lot, or we haven't said, but I'll say it here. Because it is a digital sensor, the sensor goes up to ISO 1600. You get way better nighttime shots with this camera than you do with the Mini 90. That doesn't mean you get good shots at nighttime at all. Uh, neither one of them are great outdoors at nighttime, specifically in the snow. If it's snowing at nighttime, it's not gonna be any good. But you will get a better image. You'll get a brighter image. You'll get an image that actually can be slightly usable rather than eh, not so usable. Uh, maybe that's a wash. I don't know. You tell me down in the comments below. But as always, I'd like to hear what you think. Did you like the video? Please let me know in your comments below. Share your stories with me. I want to thank you for watching. Remind you to smash the like button. Don't forget to hit up those links and subscribe. And I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching.